Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Tuesday, sending you so much love. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So I want to bring in the Dragon Oracle cards today. This is a gorgeous step by Diana Cooper to see which angels and, you know, which archangels are around as well, working with the dragons to bring in change. And dragons are really powerful because they work behind the scenes with the angels in a bit of the lower dimensions, like the 4D, the 3D, to really create change. And I really picked up yesterday, especially in the cancer reading that I did, that the dragons are assisting right now. Not just assisting with change, but also helping the masculines and some of you feminines who need to make changes too, to stand up and make those changes, to speak your truth, to be honest and do what's right for you. So I want to connect with this deck to bring in power. And I'm going to use this deck as well for the masculines to see which dragons are around them and why. I'm also going to bring in the gorgeous oracle of the mermaids deck by Lucy Cavendish to really see what we're being guided to know and, and do and change and what the energy is right now. And then we're going to connect with the daily guidance book. And yesterday was really powerful. We got the number 1111 coming through as well. So, and they're blocking my throat. <coughs> they're blocking my throat right there. So remember to make your wish. If you've seen 1111, that's a sign for you. And also, if there is blocks in communication right now, make sure you're connected in a spiritual way. So observe what's going on. Don't get, you know, taking things personally. Just breathe through things and really connect with your mask in a 5D way through, you know, telepathy, dream signs to feel the power of the love. So thank you, angels. Which dragon, archangel, angel is around the feminines today and why? Jumping straight out. So I've also got another card moving in the middle of the deck, but it's gone back, okay? And then one came out at the back. So... The energy around the Divine Feminines today, please, angels. Look at this. There we go. Jump straight out on the camera there. Let's see what we need to know. Remember, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. I have freed a lot of time up so that I am able to do personal readings. So let's see what we need to know. Look at this. I just love this. This is one of my favorite dragons in this deck. Because my guardian angel is called Sunshine. I've got two. I've got, just like you'll have two. I have a guardian angel called Hope who's been with me throughout my life and will remain with me throughout my life. And then I have another guardian angel called Sunshine who is my spiritual guardian angel. And the angels are just asking me to tell you a little bit about guardian angels and how they work. So you will have possibly two guardian angels, maybe more depending on what your mission is and what you're here to do and what your destiny is. But if you are awake on your journey, it's very likely you have already got two, or two uh, guardian angels with you right now. And what that means is your primary guardian angel is with you always. Okay, Even when you're not aware that you have a guardian angel, you have one. Okay, We all have one. A lot of us are you know, able to understand that because we are aware. But if we are in the matrix, we don't get that. So you may have only realized recently or maybe over the last five, ten years or so that you are surrounded by love from heaven, that you are surrounded by heavenly protection. So your primary guardian angel came into this world with you and stays with you until you decide to transition to the next life and or when God creates the way, you know, however we we decide to go. We all have choices throughout our life. It's really up to our path and our strength and our, you know, destiny. But that's another video. But the point I'm making is, you know, that your guardian angel is with you. So even when you were a baby, even when you were a child, when you were growing up, when you were at school, all these things, your guardian angel was with you, listening to you, advising you, helping you, protecting you, even if you didn't know that they were there. And your guardian angel's main primary mission is to protect you and watch over you that's what god created your guardian angel for now your guardian angel is unique to you that means you can communicate with other people's guardian angels but they are assigned to those people so for example your guardian angel is assigned to you that means they can't get up and go and help anybody else because they are with you 
That's what the archangels were created for. Archangels are non-denominational, so they are able to be with everyone at the same time. Your guardian angel is unique for you. God created that guardian angel for you. Isn't that beautiful? That's how special you are to God, the creator. He made an angel for you. And then when we wake up on this journey, it's usually when we're starting to embrace our psychic side or when we're going through something and we're learning how to forgive or there's something else big going on, we have another guardian angel that comes in that activates in a way to be with our psychic self. So our primary guardian angel is really with our physical 3D self always and our spiritual guardian angel, our psychic guardian angel is with our psychic self, if that makes sense. So my sunshine, I was going through forgiveness. It was when I was dealing with, you know, Mary Catalyst. I was going through a lot of pain in that connection. And I was introduced to sunshine. Sunshine made himself known to me in many, many ways. So if you're wondering what your guardian angel is called, if you want to connect with your guardian angel, just call right on them now and your guardian angel will come to you in amazing ways. And it's a very personal thing connecting with your guardian angel. Now, I am able to connect with names and, you know, things you're learning through your guardian angel as well. But I always see it as a very personal thing. You know, it's always much better when we directly connect with our guardian angel than maybe ask someone else to do it for us. And you'll know because you'll receive repetitive guidance. I call it parrot guidance. You may see the same name over and over again. Something may come to you. And, you know, for me, for example, I kept hearing over and over again, the song, You Are My Sunshine. And then people started giving me things with sunshine on. I remember someone gave me a necklace and it said, you are my, my sunshine. I was like, wow, because sunshine is mine. You are my sunshine. Just like your guardian angel is your guardian angel. And the colour yellow is also about the light. If you're guided to the colour yellow, it's because it's like the sun. You know, it's really beautiful because, you know, even before I started this channel, and I've always loved yellow anyway, but when I started this channel, I always wanted yellow on the channel. And you may notice that, you know, I'll kind of sometimes reply with a yellow heart or I have a yellow background. I used to have a yellow Avi, before I changed the profile picture to me, I used to have a, have a yellow angel and I've always loved yellow. And then my masculine George, Blue Ice Tarot, loves blue and he's always put blue hearts, <clears throat> you know, and you'll connect with that too. So yellow and blue. So I love that we've got sunshine, yellow dragon coming through because this is also a big sign that my guardian angel is watching over me in our journey because Sunshine is assisting me with my work and my service and helping to guide you guys and be there for you. But also this is a big message about your guardian angel. And maybe the colour you're drawn to is also connected with your mission and purpose. But a lot of you are guided to things that create light. You know, because yellow is very warm. It's a warm colour. So... This sunshine yellow dragon is coming through to remind you of the powerful connection you have with your guardian angel. In other words, to remind you that you are not alone on your journey and there's nothing to fear. And what I'm really seeing there with a the little kind of Bambi there is that I'm seeing the Bambi as you and this beautiful dragon being your guardian angel watching over and protecting you. So when you're feeling at your most vulnerable, or you're going through your lowest times, or you're feeling pained, you're not alone. And a lot of the times we do feel that way, we feel alone, but we're not. And the fact that there's two birds up here as well is reminding you that you are always receiving help. Because I'm seeing those two birds there as archangels, that you have the power to call on at any time. So your guardian angel is with you constantly. But the, the other angels, the archangels are there whenever you need them. So even though this is a dragon card, they are connecting me with the energy of the guardian angel. So the sunshine yellow dragon is coming through to remind you of your power and that you are a very feeling being, that you're able to connect with everyone and everything because you are energy. So in this respect, for example, you connect with animals. Now you connect with animals because you may feel a rapport with animals. You may be an animal lover. 
You may have pets right now. Or maybe you've lost pets and you're still connecting with them. You have animal guides around you. So you are a helper to humanity. You're a helper to the planet because animals also live upon this amazing planet. And you understand your journey as well through guidance from nature, from animals, insects, birds, and the animal kingdom and nature. So you are being helped right now to understand and help animals. So when you see, for example, an animal in pain, you're able to help them. Think of an experience where you may have helped an animal or an insect or a bird in some way. I know I certainly have on my journey and, you know, I've called on Archangel Ariel to help with healing when I've found a bird that's injured its wing or I've, I've a butterfly that was, you know, pretty much half dead and I've I called on Ariel to resurrect this, this, this kind of butterfly and give it light, give it life. So you have healing power within you to help the world. So remember that, you know, you're shown through your caring nature how powerful you are if any of you have helped a bee maybe if you've given a bee water or all these things you've done so you're here to serve to serve the world and sometimes that also means serving animals and that's another reason why so many of us connect with the animal kingdom you know personally for me I haven't got pets but I love cats I love cats George loves dogs you know, so it's whether you, it doesn't matter if you're a cat lover, dog lover, or you love horses, or you love any other animal, rabbits or squirrels, or we all love the animal kingdom because we are loving and these nurturing empresses. And that's why animals will approach you. You know, not long ago when me and George went away, you know, we went for a little nature walk and this squirrel just kind of jumped in front of me and was looking at me and was walking all around me. I did a little video of it. And animals are just drawn to us, like how children are drawn to you sometimes. Do you know why? It's because you have sweetness in you. You know, if you find that bees are attracted to you or insects, it's because you are sweet. It doesn't mean that you smell or anything like that, you know, and you've, you're attracting these, these flies around. It means you are sweet. So people who are pure... And people who see good in things. So, you know, other people, other light workers will be drawn to you because of your light and your sweetness. You know, the way you are. And that doesn't make you weak. And it doesn't make you a pushover. It makes you strong. And that's why people come to you and tell you all the problems. Because they sense that sweetness in you. And it's the same sweetness in you that animals are attracted to or insects or bees or birds. Because... They feel your purity and that's so powerful and that's why your light sometimes can blind your divine masculine because it's so pure and you are a healer because you respect and understand other people and you respect and understand nature and the animal kingdom. You don't want to cause harm, you want to help. Isn't that beautiful? But I'm seeing the, the deer there being surrounded by love from the guardian angel. So I'm seeing there as this dragon coming through to assist you with helping others and receiving messages in nature and through animals, but also connecting. And you know, you connect with animals just like Dr. Doolittle did. You may not exactly hear them talking to you, but you certainly understand their energy and you hear them in their, in your mind. And that's the same with me when I say the angels say, I'm connecting with the energy. So I just clear audiently, clairsentiently, clairvoyantly know what's coming through. And it's the same with you. We've also got Thor's red, black and gold dragon. Now this is powerful because Thor is connected with Archangel Michael's energy. So you think of Thor, you think of strength. You know, I always say Archangel Michael is the Thor of heaven. So Archangel Michael is also with you right now, giving you strength. And this dragon that's red, black and gold in nature is protecting you in times of change. So this is another huge sign right now that there's so much change going on. And I spoke about this yesterday. You know, that's why the masculines are experiencing such powerful ascension symptoms. So this dragon is coming to say, I'm protecting you in times of change. So that's why you see rainbows. That's why you get shown feathers and maybe you see 555. 
because it's a time of rapid change, transition and transformation. So this dragon, Archangel Michael as well, is coming through to say to you, relax, you are safe. This is why your guardian angel has come through to say, relax, you are safe. You are safe right now. So remember, if you've been ghosted or blocked, it's protection. If they're not replying right now, it's protection. If they are still with a karmic partner, remember you're being protected from that. So breathe and relax. The angels are asking you to relax. And I've also got Archangel Honiel coming through, the angel of peace, helping you to relax, to sleep better, to eat better, to look after you, to protect you during these times of change. So you may even see red, black and gold, these colours together as a symbol of change. You may even see Thor. Maybe you're scrolling through YouTube and Thor pops up or he's, the film's on tally or something like that because it's a sign of power. And look at this for power. You've also got the dark blue galactic dragon. So another dragon connected with Archangel Michael. So the dragons are assisting Archangel Michael right now because Archangel Michael is also helping you to connect with your higher self. And remember I spoke about Lapis Lazuli very powerfully not long ago because Lapis Lazuli is also very good for communication, to restore communication, but it's also helping you to listen to your inner voice. And to connect with your angels and guides. So this dark blue galactic dragon, which means it's connected with the universal power, is helping you to listen. And that's why there may be ear chakra activation. My masculine certainly been dealing with ear pain. Maybe you are experiencing a little bit of ear pain yourself. As you ignite the codes of your master blueprint and you access cosmic wisdom to enter higher service. So remember, that's why you've come. You've come to enter into higher service. So yes, the part of that is union because it's higher service being in union because it's unconditional. When you're in union, you've released all the, the parts of you that cause all the drama and the pain and the fear. You know, you are as one and you're as one anyway, but you've released all of the 3D stuff to be together and you learn how to feel more at peace. So when you're in union, you'll notice you'll get triggered by things, but you'll deal with it so much easier because you're operating in a higher way. So you're igniting codes and codes are connected with DNA upgrades and changes and the way you change so that you can return to your true self. Look at this, Lemuria returns. Earthly spirituality, community, ocean observation. So what I'm really feeling, look at this, she's pregnant first of all, which is a huge sign. We keep talking about fertility and pregnancy, giving birth to something. So again, a huge sign here about babies in your future, if that's what you so desire with your twin. And that may be part of your legacy and your mission to, you know, create babies and have children that go on, you know, creating that type of legacy. But it's also about giving birth to your dreams and embracing your earthly life and your spiritual side to balance them as one to come into awareness and alignment of your true self. And you also do that divine feminine as a community so that you're able to conserve your energy to observe things in a higher way and to connect with your emotions. You are an ocean of emotion. And your community, the people you surround yourself with, whether it's here on the channel, on another channel or in life, allows you to breathe and remember your truth. Because what you're being reminded is that you are a guide and a mentor and a trustworthy ally. And you're also a great friend, a great friend, remember, an ally to your masculine as well as other people. And I'm also seeing there as twins, confiding in each other, connecting, preparing for union. And they're also giving me, that's the number 38 there, but they're showing it me as 18. And they're showing me this as 29 because I'm seeing this as 2018 to 2029. A huge time for your dreams manifesting in all ways. So you have to be at peace with the time and the tide of things. That means divine timing, the way things flow, being in the energy of flow. And we've got oceanic spells and rituals. So the way that we handle divine timing... The way that we handle this journey is by using oceanic spells and rituals. What does that mean? Well, number one, gratitude is a ritual. Waking up grateful every day can become a ritual. Seeing the day as beautiful. Look at this. I've got angel bumps. He's number 18. That's where I've just channeled that. 
18, 2018. So really since 2018, no matter when you became aware of your twin or not, you've been learning how to go with the flow, how to be in the energy of power, how to do things for you. So a ritual can be something as simple as being grateful every day. A spell can be something as simple as affirming. When we affirm, we use words. Words can be spells to bring the good in. Or a spell could be lighting a candle to bring in abundance or hope. You know, don't think about black magic or nastiness. Maybe you're thinking, well, what about all the things that other people do? Don't pay attention to that. Do you know why? Because you're surrounded by heavenly support. Your guardian angel is wrapping you up in, in their wings. And Archangel Michael is protecting you. Like the Thor of Heaven, you've got these amazing, powerful, strong dragons to shield you. There's no need to fear. And we've got the crane bag. Says it said they give me the word surreal because sometimes the journey can feel surreal. But this is you receiving sacred ocean medicine. We've got clutter, declutter choice. So right now it's up to you how you perceive this journey. You always have a choice. You have free will. Remember and. You can choose whether your life and your emotions and your journey seems to be cluttered or decluttered. And if it feels cluttered, declutter. You may want to start by decluttering your physical reality, clearing out your car or your home or your office or your closet, having a tidy, because that clears the mind. And when we do that, we're able to clear our mind of weeds and things that we've created that cause negativity and pain. And the sacred ocean medicine is also about cleansing. You know, the ocean is water. So water is very cleansing and salt water. So you may want to have a bath and put some salt in there because it's very cleansing. It will cleanse you of toxins. It will cleanse you of negativity. It will cleanse you of anything that you've been given through psychic attack. Or you may want to drink more water because it cleanses you inside. But you have sacred power to connect with your own self. And the crane bag, I'm also seeing this as the way we age and the way we embrace the journey, especially if we are the older twin, you know, we kind of age backwards as the older twin anyway, because the more we open up to our spiritual side, the more cleansed we become, the more youthful we are, the more at one with all things we are. So we're able to feel stronger and sexier and more independent and more beautiful every single day. So remember, embrace you for you. And that's bringing in power. So time and tide, the messages go with the flow. So I want to bring in the daily guidance from your angels book. So let's bring this in to do the message for today. Wow, this is beautiful because it really resonates with yesterday. Affirm that you're wholly lovable. I am lovable. Such a great affirmation to use right now. So if you're thinking, what spell can I use to bring in power? You know, the spell, wherever that spell card went. Where did the spell card go? Oh, it's right here in front of my face. You see, this is the thing. Sometimes things are right in front of our face and we don't see it. And that's what the masculines do. They give me a block. <clears throat> because when there's blocks in, set in, you know, communication or separation, sometimes we struggle to see things clearly. So a spell you can use is, I am wholly lovable. I am lovable just for being who I am right now. I deserve to be cared for and I allow myself to feel it. I am a treasured being. Isn't that a beautiful affirmation to use? And yesterday we did a gorgeous power cleanse with Archangel Raziel to cleanse your chakra system and cleanse everything. And if you enjoyed that, by the way, you guys know I'm going to be live for a one day event next year in May in London on the 18th of May, I'm going to do a power cleanse with the angels. We're going to call all the archangels in during that power cleanse live in one room to bring in the power of heaven. So if you're thinking about coming to London to see me, no matter where you are in the world, you have plenty of time to plan it. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, if you click on the link in the description box, it will take you to the site for the tickets with all the information. So you can have a read through the day and what it entails and how we're going to connect. But I'm really looking forward to doing a live power cleanse with you guys then too. And anytime you feel you want to feel loved or you want to feel more in tune with your twin, you know, you can connect with them in a power cleanse or you can call them in. So today affirm that you're wholly lovable. You're wholly lovable for being who you are right now. 
The option, and they give me that because you have a choice, the option is there to know that. The opinions that you hold of yourself or that others have of you are really irrelevant in the face of the fact that you're a perfect child of God. Nothing about you can ever be broken or wrong. You've always been and will always be heaven's perfect creation. So don't let yourself be fooled by the illusions that the ego may portray. Your higher self and everyone else's is eternally connected to God and thus always loves you and wants the best for you and sees the goodness within you. Know that you deserve to be wholly cherished. You don't need to earn God's affection and you don't need to earn your twin's affection either. It should be freely given. And if you feel it's not right now, it's usually because we're demanding something or we're wanting something now. Or we're not in the flow of life, the, the ebb and flow. So remember that God's love does not need to be earned. It's bestowed upon you before your creation and will remain eternally yours no matter what. And <clears throat> the block in my throat. <clears> There's <throat> this real energy about in the silence getting to know yourself. And remembering there's no need to fear that you are safe and loved and protected. So you may find that you want to do more spells and rituals during the separation. And this can be things like updating your vision board, you know, meditating, going in nature. It doesn't need to be something where you think, oh, I need to cast a spell or I need to do some weird ritual. Just do what comes naturally to you. And that's the power of you. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.